A growing bipartisan plan wants to see Congress members banned from trading individual stocks while in office. A recent investigation led to the push, which could include their spouses and close family, too. Tonight, CBS 8's Richard Allen tells us how San Diego's congressional representatives come down on this hot-button issue. Well, that's right. This push to ban stock trading by members of Congress received some initial pushback by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. This is a free market and people, <clears throat> we are a free market economy that should be able to participate in that. Well, Speaker Pelosi has since indicated she could be open to a possible ban. Other congressional members from both sides of the aisle made their stance more clear, calling for House leadership to swiftly ban members of Congress from owning or trading stocks while in office. Representative Jared Golden, who drafted the letter, said it's clear abuses are taking place. I think it's clear that the American people have a poor opinion of Congress, and many people think that members of Congress get involved in office and in public service in order to enrich themselves, and that's a huge problem. The Stock Act passed back in 2012 theoretically bans members of Congress from insider trading, although experts say that's nearly impossible to regulate given the amount of classified information they routinely have access to. Bills have also been introduced in the House and Senate that would ban trading for lawmakers, in some versions extending that ban to spouses and other family members. CBS 8 reached out to San Diego County's congressional delegation for their stance on this issue. Democratic Representative Mike Levin wrote, The public's interests, not personal profits, should always come first for elected officials, adding he's a co-sponsor of one of those bills and also has never traded stocks while in office. Democratic Representative Scott Peters made it clear that he and his wife no longer own individual publicly traded stocks to avoid actual conflicts or the appearance of conflicts of interest, adding he would support preventing the trading of individual stocks by members of Congress. I have chosen not to own any individual stocks or buy or sell them, uh, but I respect the fact that many people do come with their own uh, stock from uh, public corporations. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa does not favor a ban on trading stocks for congressional members, saying that could be a disincentive to attracting the most qualified candidates for office. And if you want them to relinquish them, what you may be doing is limiting the kinds of people that you'll get in public office. He is pushing for greater transparency, though, pointing out the House recently signed legislation to extend the Stock Act to judicial members as well, adding he'll work to update the existing decade-old law. I don't think you get rid of corruption completely uh, by any kind of a ban. I do think you limit corruption by having transparency. And CBS 8 reached out to but did not receive a comment on this from Representatives Juan Vargas or Sarah Jacobs. Also, you can track the stock trading activity of any member of Congress. For a link to that, just go to CBS8.com, click on the online version of this story.